Hey and welcome to my uh, channel and this pick a card reading where I'm asking what is going on with them at the moment? What's what's in their reality or the thinking, feeling, what's going on? Wait, wait, here we go. Um, so one, two or three, tune in, what feels good? What is going on with them? Start with group number one. For this group, what is going on with this person at the moment? What is going on in their mind, in their feelings? What's the process? What are their hopes and fears? What's the outcome going to be? Okay, let's see what's going on with them right now. Okay, so where they are at is the Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords is um, usually around um, something, it feels like something's being taken. Something's being taken away, so either something's being taken from them or they have taken something away. It's this feeling of, of being cheated on, being feeling jealous, feeling betrayed, uh, feeling like some wrong has been done, either by them or to them. Uh, my overall feeling from the cards that have come up is that they feel like something has been wronged to them. Um, that someone else has betrayed them, cheated on them, taken something from them. Um, they've, they're feeling hurt by the situation. And they're feeling, they're unable to take any action. They're feeling kind of stuck in this place. Um, they, they're being blocked by their inability to, to move on, to process. It could be emotionally that they're being blocked from being able to process this because externally they're, they are actually feeling very hopeful. Um, so it could be because of this um, injustice they're feeling, something has been revealed and it's actually revealing their, their real hope, their real dream and their real um, aspiration, what they really want, they're seeing clarity in their vision and what they want to achieve and it's it's being reflected unconsciously so it's something that is um is very true how they how they are feeling externally is true to their internal reality as well because they're actually feeling like a lot of wealth has come from this situation so something about it feels like um actually very rich to them so it, it's a little bit contradictory in that if you see the kind of where they're at and they're kind of the the kind of internal and external process around it, it's actually this thing has been quite transformative for them and been helpful for them. So even though it's quite a difficult situation, it's helped them come to some realization. But they're feeling stuck in how to move forward from it. Because in the recent past, they've um, they've met or they have realised some kind of deep love. They have um, felt some kind of intimacy uh, that was quite profound for them. Some kind, something very, very um, sexual and passionate, but loving and exciting and. Um, really meeting on so many levels, something that they really, really loved or someone that they've really found 
huge passion for. And they're now in a place where they have to make a decision, where they have to choose. And they they can't, it's like maybe they've been holding on to two different people or two different ideas or two different ways of of being with someone and it's now they've got to make a choice and they've got to let go of something in order to make that choice um, but they they have they have to realize that when they let go of something they create this new space and this new potential but they are maybe in a bit of doubt about what what they want to choose or how they're going to go about it and that's why they're not moving forward at the moment they're really being um, guided internally to let go of something. If they're spiritual, this can be messages coming in from guides, or it can just feel like their internal guidance. Like this is the end of a process. Something needs to, to die. Something needs to end and be surrendered to, uh, to allow the process to, to move on. But something is stopping them. They're worried either about some kind of uh, money situation to do with this, that some kind of finance situation is impacting on why they're having a difficulty making a decision, or, or somebody else is trying to hold on to them or hold on to something. Something it doesn't want to be let go of. Whether, and because this is an external, external influence, it feels like someone else wants to hold on maybe to them or to something they have, um, which is making it hard for them to, to change or to let go if they need to let go of someone, then they, there's, that other person really doesn't want them to let go and is holding on very, very tight. What they hope is to really have a perspective on the situation. They really want to be able to see it clearly and to move out of this point of stagnation to, um, to go to go forward they, they really want to know what it is they need to move forward into before they do it they're really trying to see clearly but it's their need to see clearly is stopping them because that the outcome is actually likely they will just have to make a, a blind decision they will just have to choose something without knowing the outcome exactly without knowing exactly what's gonna come they they just need to, to move forward um, letting go of, of whatever it is in the situation, having faith in their, um, that they know now what they want and that they have the potential to create what they want. They have to go forward with blind faith. The, you know, the universe isn't giving them complete, um, clarity or, um, uh, they're not, they don't know that they're going to be successful, basically. They don't know if they're going to be successful or not. So I hope that gives you some clarity into the situation. Um, and they, they really, they've just got to have this kind of faith, is what I'm feeling, that they, they really know what they want. Um, and they're trying to see how to get it clearly, but that they, they are, without moving forward, they're just going to be stuck. It feels like they're not going to know the next step until they take it. They've just got to move. They've just got to take action. And then things will start to clear out. But without taking any action, they're going to stay in this kind of limbo space. But they, they really, they're worried about taking a step because they haven't got clarity. Okay, I hope that helps. And um, uh, if it does, please like and subscribe or comment. Uh, and I really appreciate your support and tuning in. Thank you. Okay, group number two. Let's tune into what the person is going through, what's going on for this person at the moment. Thinking about what are their hopes and fears? What is their what's their state of mind internally and externally? Group number two. 
see. But please bring us some clear advice, some clear situation. We can really understand this person and their experience right now. All right. Ace of Pentacles, the Empress. Four of Pentacles. And Six of Cups. Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Judgment card. Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. This is the full on reading for me, the one that feels like the next steps. <laughs> okay, it's like some kind of um, realization has come in, and uh, they they are feeling in a little bit of a stuck place, or just coming out of a stuck place, and they've had some kind of realization, and they are kind of looking at taking steps forward into it. So you can hear in more detail. So where they're at is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is this coin dropping. <laughs> it's literally like the pennies dropped, the coins dropped. You know, they've made this realization. Um, it may have come through spirit if they're a spiritual person, or it may just be something has just clicked into place. It's like the jigsaw puzzle is just coming together and they can kind of see the picture. Having said that, it's like that's only just come in they they are in a little bit of, of a state of uncertainty maybe they they say so they in the near past they've been quite stuck they've been holding on to something they've been trying to um either keep hold of money or keep hold of a person or keep they're trying to hold on to something or it could be emotional it could just be something like their pride or something like that but it tends to be this tends to be physical so it's more likely something material, like um, a person, a home, um, some kind of possessions, some money. They're, they're ho they've been holding on, and it's they've realized now some kind of blessing, some kind of doorway, or some kind of opportunity that what felt like a, a block is actually an opportunity. They're still... Uh, I'm coming back to this one. The, what they're sort of showing outwardly, though, is that maybe they are not really showing that they've had this realization as yet. They're still kind of um, not really showing that they appreciate that some kind of blessing has come out of it. Uh, and they're kind of looking for more, like they want more answers or more um yeah, they, they just feel like they, they want to understand or feel or have some more clarity because internally they feel like they're juggling. So this is like they're trying to manage different things or manage a decision and they're feeling unstable and uncertain around it. So it could be this realization is that they have to let go of this need. So this is like a need to feel security and they've got to step into this unsecure place. I feel like this Empress card coming in as a block here may represent a person, um, a, a woman or someone with feminine qualities or someone who is very nurturing and very caring. And I feel like they, um, this person could be really beneficial to them and maybe they've realized that this person is hugely um, caring and nurturing and is like this absolute garden where things can grow and things can um, be nurtured and nourished and that is what they're stepping towards that is what they're moving towards is a person um, and offering something to a person they want to offer their love their flowers their connection they want to see eye to eye with this person they want to meet with them they want to be with them um, they want to connect with them but they're feeling a little bit worried still about this. Let's have a look a little bit more. Their internal guidance is really telling them to move, 
to either to travel, to physically travel to go and see someone, or that they need to create movement in their life and change in their life in order to take this on. And this could be why they feel some uncertainty, um, because they're they're worried about maybe the cost of this, or um, they're worried about leaving something behind. They're worried about the the kind of waves it will make. And this is what's kind of going on internally: is that needing to make some kind of physical change in your life to move to be with someone. The um, there may be issues externally to do with the law, to do with um, practicalities, physical practicalities, documentation. If this is travel towards someone, it could be they're overseas, it could be um, to do with visas or something like that, extension of travel. Um, there might also be ties to family. They may have um, responsibilities, they are worried about leaving behind or they feel like legally bound, like the law, like there is a, a law, some kind of law that is um, creating, uh, is, is having an influence on their situation. What they're really hoping is that they can overcome these things, that they can overcome the physical, any physical challenges, they can learn to balance what's going on in their reality with their money, with their, their home life, with the families. They want to really become a master of their um, of their situation and they're really hoping to receive. They really want to allow things in. They're hoping that um, or they're hoping either that they will be let in to someone, that they will be welcomed in, they will be treasured or they're hoping that they themselves are allowing the blessings in, allowing themselves to receive, that whatever this, this inspiration or blessing that has ooh, that's come in, um, they're hoping they can receive it, or they're scared that they can't receive it, or scared that they won't be received. So this is what could be going on with their, their doubt. But the outcome is that they are really going to come into some strength and come into some power. So they're going to really embody their masculine, their divine masculine aspects to um, to move forward. So they're really gonna gonna it's gonna take a lot. It's, it feels like um, it's gonna take a lot of courage to do this because there is something quite big, some external influences that are very big for them to overcome. Um, but the the it's their indecision in their mind is um, is keeping them back, but they will they will move forward, and they will use their strength, use their power. They're gonna make a stand. They are going to um, make their choice, be really clear about it, stand for it, and and stand up for people. They want to be a leader. They want to be successful. They want to be proud of themselves, and they want to keep their commitments. So they're really moving forward towards something. So they may be externally, they may be a little bit emotional, but the reason for that is they're, they're worried about, they've, they've got a lot on their plate basically, they're, they're trying to balance a lot of things, materials and money and stuff, and that may be why they're seeming, they might even seem a bit cold, um, they might, it's like they're either a bit over emotional, but quite likely they're appearing a bit cold, um, but it's just because they know what they've got to do, and they're just overcoming some some fear or some worries about it how they go about it but they're com they're, they're gonna get through it they're gonna manifest it they're gonna they're, they're on the track so um i hope that really helped group number two um and uh thank you for tuning in please like if you liked it and um, comment subscribe support my channel so i keep doing more and Wish you a great day.
little creepy from the side. Just showing you more cards. And let's tune into what is this person thinking? What are they feeling? What is going through their mind? What is on their mind? What is their situation? What are their hopes and fears? What is influencing them? Seeing what we have, okay, we have the tower, the central moon, the nine of wands, the lovers, and the ten of cups, king of pentacles, and the moon, hierophants, strength. Ten of Wands and Three Swords. Okay, let's see Major Arcana here. So this is something quite big this person is going through. They, they are obviously in a pretty stressful point right now. They are having some kind of crisis, some kind of um, <sighs> collapse. They, you know, the the lightning is hitting, the fire is raging, the winds are blowing, the waves are crashing, people are falling, it's night, it's dark, it's cloudy. It's a pretty difficult time. They are um, struggling with their circumstance. They're, it feels like everything around them is collapsing and there's nothing to hold on to. They just haven't got a grip on anything and they are just falling. It, there's that sense of just falling. Um, absolutely having to just let go of the situation and just surrender to the collapse. What I feel is this is actually a very powerful time for them um, because this is actually going to move them forward. This is actually going to take them on to um, the next stage. Just because this card is number nine and the future is number ten. So I feel like it's it's taking them into the completion of something and towards the success of something, um, quite likely a relationship in this reading. Um, so they are, although it's a really difficult point, it's completely moving them forward. They, externally, it might look like they're pretty together. It might look like they are actually completely mastering their circumstance. But underneath, they are terrified. They are absolutely terrified. There is a lot going on underneath that they are not showing. They are trying to keep cool, trying to keep calm, uh, just focus on work, on day-to-day -day things. But actually underneath, there is this huge sense of fear around this collapse. What has been going on, so in the recent past, we had the lovers. Um, so there has been some kind of significant relationship, some kind of significant exchange moment that has been um, very powerful, very intimate, very awakening, sexual, potent, something has stirred them. They've been really, really stirred. And this has led, this is what has led to this tower moment, to this uncertainty. But it is looking good. The future is looking bright. There is gonna be a union, a coming together, a rainbow is gonna come, a 10 of cups, completion of something um, but it's not feels like that they've got this tower is quite a big process so it might not be a quick result because it's something big they're going through they're really being asked to learn something they're really having to go deep within and understand something um, about life, about the way things work, about how um, how people are, how life is. It's a very deep spiritual or um, philosophical lesson that they are being asked to learn and they're having their attention drawn to right now. They're, they've got to be strong. Some, some situation is asking them to be really, really strong 
and to in that strength I mean flexibility not like pure like brawn not like muscle but in the kind of softness strength in softness a strength in nurturing a strength in being compassionate in a very difficult situation their fear is that they can't handle it that they're just going to collapse but they really hope they can they, they want to hold everything and move forward the outcome is there's going to be some kind of heartbreak there's some someone somewhere either this person or someone else is going to have um, a real it's going to be a, a loss. I, I have two meanings actually for this card. So that can be this kind of, there is going to be a loss somewhere for something, maybe to do with this tower card, this tower moment, something is going to have to be um, let go of. I also see this as um, a coming together uh, with um, like a joining of the heart. So this can, like I see it two ways, this heart can be being being pierced, being broken, being hurt, but also it's like a heart being shared. It's like being asked to open the heart to more than you thought you could. Because when the heart breaks, it's being asked to open. When the heart has to collapse, it's it has to expand. When it breaks, it has to expand to grow in those parts where it was broken so it becomes bigger. So it's asking for an expansion of the heart. And I feel that maybe what this tower moment is about, they're being asked to really expand their heart and open their heart bigger than they thought they could. And in a very difficult situation. But, and this is why I, I feel like there's a couple of options that this, this then is a union. So it could be letting go of someone else and a new union or the completion of a union, the completion of something, um, or the re reignition of a union after some kind of heartbreak, that they've got to go through this heartbreak in order to, um, to really stay with it. Then really, um, this, this person is really not showing it what they're going through. What they're going through is very, very intense, um, but they don't, they don't want anyone to know. Or it's potential they don't even realise. They might realise something is going on, but they may not realise the depth of their emotion because the moon is, you know, it's in the subconscious and it is also the subconscious. It's like the unconscious is unconscious. They don't even know what they're feeling. Maybe they can't even process it because there's so much going on and so much they're holding on to. They, they don't even know how to, to go there. So they're just not, um, but they're really being asked to understand themselves really being asked by the Hierophant to, to really understand themselves. So I hope that makes uh, sense to you. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if it resonated. And um, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you again.